Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode. We've been having a lot of high winds lately and today I have a somewhat small opportunity to get out there and hopefully tear into a little bit of fish. Um, yeah, it's supposed to be 11 miles an hour out of the north, just like straight north and then it's gonna like shift, not even shift actually, it's supposed to lower down to about nine. So I'm hoping that the weather app is correct. We gotta get this kayak loaded up and uh, just make a good go of it. I have been bored to death inside the house with nothing to do. All my tackle is organized and everything like that. So y'all wish me some good luck. Hopefully we're gonna catch into some fish and there might be one or two keepers amongst them because I've been wanting to do a catch and cook. I wanted to fry some redfish or flounder and uh, let's keep our fingers crossed that today is gonna be that day. All right, let's knock this out the way really quick. And while I'm trying to knock this out the way, uh, something that I wanted to talk to y'all about, the channel is fast approaching 30,000 subscribers and on our way to uh, achieving all these milestones that, I mean, I consider them milestones on my quest to 100,000 subscribers, I want to do a giveaway to show my appreci appreciation to each and every one of y'all that are out there. Uh, if y'all remember, I had last year two challenge rods created for challenging some of you guys uh, on the jetty or whenever I was doing some bank fishing. And uh, yeah, those guys, I have no need for them anymore because I'm now partnered with Old 18 Outfitters. And what I'm going to do is give away to two lucky winners once we hit 30,000 subscribers. Uh, there will be an opportunity for two of y'all out there to win one of them. They're both seven foot long and both light action uh, with Fuji titanium guides. So if you're interested in possibly winning one and you have yet to subscribe to the channel, do whatever it is that you need to do to uh, like create an account and then hit that subscribe button. I would definitely appreciate it. And uh, yeah, so just wanted y'all to know about that. So it's coming up really soon. We just need about 400 plus more subscribers to hit that 30,000 mark. out there are bank fishermen and the majority of you share the same exact view that I do about if you bring trash out make sure that you take it back with you but look at this look what your fellow brother fishermen are doing just destroying our resource here's one cast net that we've got to get inside this tiny bag and then you got another cast net and it's just all this garbage absolutely ridiculous clean your crap up if you bring it out here the champion of all lures during this time frame that is what we're gonna continuously stick with so let's get started high winds blowing in my face and we're gonna have to just deal with it thank goodness we have a platform worthy enough of taming these winds that's the only reason why I'm even out here right now. If I had to be inside my Hobie, <laughs> there's no way that I would actually come out here and, and even attempt to fish in very high winds. Look at this. Wow. That is a lot of fish directly below me. I'm going to hit spot lock. Perfect example of why I'm inside this with like inside this boat right now. Here, let's just let that bad boy sink down there 12 feet deep and let's see if we get tagged on the way down 
almost going to do like vertical style jigging the way we would go after crappie. I'm hoping that those are speckled trout right there. Wow. If we land into some speckled trout, I am going to be just tickled. Still looking for the golden crispy day. That's what we're chasing after. Catch and cook. I've been wanting to do one. We've been quarantined. Not quarantined. That's a bad choice of word. <laughs> because none of us have contracted the virus in my household. We've been on a stay-at-home order. Fishing is definitely one of those recreational activities that is considered a social distancing option to uh, be able to go out and have fun and still keep away from others. Been going at it for a little while now. And uh, I also switched up to just the Slavalicious, but just thinking back to the last time that I was here, we used a baby bass Zoom Fluke. Man, a lot of y'all roasted me too, saying that I was using clickbait in my title. <laughs> uh, well, we're going to go back to that baby bass and see if we can replicate the awesome luck that we had that day. Yep, we got some right here. If y'all don't know about these Zoom Flukes, man, check them out. Oh, God, that's nasty. Got some oils. I don't know what that's from, but that is disgusting. Uh, check these Zoom Flukes out. They're very inexpensive. It's the baby bass, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed with uh, their performance. I know I won't if I uh, hook into some keeper-sized fish so that we can go home and do our uh, catch and cook. It's been way too long. A lot of y'all have been asking for one, so I think it's time to take care of that. All right, let's get this guy on and hopefully we're gonna tear into those fellas the way we did last time. I am seeing, gosh darn, that hummingbird is showing them just stacked up down there. Oh my goodness gracious. I'm hoping that we're able to uh, tear into these fellas. You gotta turn the boat around. Get ourselves into position to just troll alongside this bank over here. It's the windblown bank as well, so I don't know how that's gonna play out. I've never had any luck on the opposite side. So this is the one that I would rather fish. All right. Can we do this? Not sure if y'all can see them or not but you got some bank fishermen just like at my one o'clock position and this is the perfect example of what i was saying whenever we were trying to get started with fishing i watched that guy right there he has obviously this shopping bag that i'm about to try and catch and bring into the boat but they bring out their crap and check it out leave it up to somebody else to clean up after them absolutely ridiculous and it just it, I mean I'm telling you I should go just take this back to him and just say hey you lost something just to give them the idea of it's not cool to bring your crap out and leave it unsecured so that the wind can blow your trash away and it gives you an excuse to say oh yeah uh, the wind took it give me a break man Oh, we got one. Oh yeah, we do got one. Please be a keeper. No, it's a tiny little, wait a minute. We got us a sand trout. This is a keeper. I'm gonna put you on the boga for the time being. And uh, if we catch a couple of more of y'all, well, normally I don't like eating sand trout. It's just a uh, personal preference thing, but I've never had one crispy fried so what we'll do is see what that's like if we can catch a couple of more to make a meal for the family first fish that is a keeper because there is no size limit on these guys and we want to keep them alive let's put this fella away and we're going to go back to my juiced bait that is the bugs flats killer or actually it's the the bugs flats bug i call it the bug flats killer because it absolutely just kills the fish but bugs calls it the flats bug that guy right there see if we can get him into some action all right it's significantly lighter than the jig head that i was using 
so it should just kind of help to glide down there and as I twitch it the rabbit fur will do its thing and swaying back and forth look at that we got some stuff down at the bottom I have a mind to let this go down there hopefully there's not going to be any grass at the depth that I'm fishing and then we can just hop it off the bottom see if anybody wants to come down there and pluck it up let's go fishies Y'all know you want it. <laughs> I dare y'all to bite it. Here, let's just, oh yeah, no grass. We're just, we're just gonna let that sink all the way down. We'll let the rabbit fur kind of do its thing. Hopefully there's a little bit of water movement down there and it'll get the fur to sway back and forth and it'll coax them into biting. We should be at the bottom, so. Kind of twitch it just a little bit softer. Not give it too much motion. Keep it in that strike zone and just ever so softly, like moving along slowly, not softly. Let's see if we can get these fellas right here that we're seeing. We gotta trick those guys into biting, man. My family's gotta eat. Just saw a massive gar come up. That's not good. Those guys love to eat exactly what we're trying to catch give this fella some time to get down there running out of time speaking of it man very slow day these rolling cold fronts that keep blowing through bringing all these high north winds 20 miles an hour we had like 20 20 to about 25 yesterday it was just crazy my oak tree a lot of the branches were falling off of that poor fella getting blown all over the place yeah we just we can't get a break springtime very unpredictable weathers weathers that doesn't even sound right unpredictable weather unpredictable winds let's just say that very tough makes fishing kind of tough for all of us out here so we all suffer together maybe every once in a while we uh, entitle ourselves to be able to make some good catches look at that those are nice marks you want to know what i think they are gar it's because i seen one of them come up and then i thought i saw another one come up to the surface didn't get a good look at it but the one that i did get a good look at was approximately three foot long if i had to guess based off of how round he was like a big old orange doo-doo turd that's what those guys are well what another grinder of a day very slow i'm gonna blame everything on the weather uh don't worry this is just a dry spell that we're going through tomorrow i'm gonna head right back out there and give it a good go eventually we'll run into those guys before i end i wanted to let those of you that went to my facebook store to try and purchase these shirts right here by the time you're viewing this video just know that i reordered some shirts in all different sizes so if you did want to purchase one of these go back over there and check it out uh that is gonna do it until next time tight lines y'all